Hey all, the stream is starting. Thank you for the follow, Urkel's grandma. I appreciate it. Haven't even started yet. <laughs> so thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the content. We'll just be swapping in the game in a second. So for people who don't know me, I'm Black Cat. I do Path of Exile content mainly. A lot of dungeon crawlers, survival, RPGs, etc. Doing a lot of Pal World and so on lately. Uh, we will be jumping into Path of Exile with the new season, though. As the new season is quite fun. Here we go. There we go. Okay. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well. I'm happy. I've gotten some stuff done. Makes me happy. Also, I finally fucking remembered to put a video on the channel saying that I made a VODs channel because I forgot to mention that to everyone except for the y'all who watch the streams. And the problem with that is that the VODs are all posted in the VODs channel, so the when I mention it here, it doesn't actually help. <laughs> So that's a thing. But I appreciate all y'all who watch the VODs and are here and so on. As well as everyone who watches at home, views the highlights and so on. Okay, since we last were together, I've done a few things. That's not the right button. I believe we ended off where the fuck do we end off? Oh yeah, we ended off at the harvest here. Went ahead, killed Katava, fucked him up, uh, smashed the Brian King, and I'm in Act 7 now. Did the Crypt, did the Chamber of Sins, onto uh, Malagaro's map. Also, the, the Cerberus limb looks fucking weird. I'm just like holding a dog paw. So I have to say, I really do like the setup I've made for this character so far. He looks pretty good. Happy with it. I picked up a Cerberus Limb. I picked up a Six Link, just a basic one. Picked up a Light of Lunaris for the damage as well as the defense, which is why I have nearly 700 fucking energy shield. Got some basic gear. Nothing too incredible. Did anything else? Don't think so. I now have a six link. By which I mean I have a Pyroclast Mines of Sabotage now with uh, Inspiration, Increased Critical Strike Support, Minefield Support, Charged Mines, and Trap and Mine Damage. So I now have all six of the actual gems I'm supposed to be using. Yay! Plus I now have Cast When Stunned with Frost Shield. So when I get fucked up by something random, I will poop out a shield. Wait, what level am I again? Alright, I'm level 36. I got prepared so that we're able to actually go do the lab today. I'm excited for that. Oh fuck, I forgot. I haven't actually got this stuff yet! Shit, I have to go back to the crypt. I was like, yeah, a little 55, that's totally time. Totally. What could possibly go fucking wrong? Okay, let's try this again. Uh, no, reset. Can I get a buff? No. Okay. Where the hell do I have to go for this again? I know I have... So I already got the first one, which was in Act 6 somewhere. Wherever. I think it was in Sharon's Tower. And I'm getting the one in the Crypt right now. The last one, the Chamber of Sins? I don't remember. My memory isn't what it used to be. 
Wait, is that right? Yes, no, that's right. Yeah, my memory isn't what it used to be. And I mean, I'm still pretty new to this game. It's not like I've played 4,800 hours. How could I possibly remember where all the trials are? I can't believe I'm about to hit 5,000 hours in this game. Some might say it's, it's a waste, but honestly, I think it was a good time spent. I had a lot of fun. Uh, this is not a useful area. Nope. Oh, that's sweet. Change the song, didn't even stop moving. Okay, it's not in the Chamber of Sins level 1 where that would have popped up, but that was what I was thinking initially. Hmm. Chamber of Sins level 2? Hmm. I mean, we'll find it eventually. Wait, no, this one's the annoying one. Okay, I, th I think this is the annoying one where it's like... We have one in Act 6, and then we have one in Act 7, and we have one in Act 8? Or there's two in Act 7, and then there's it's 8, 9, 10 for the last... For the third lab. Can't remember. How you doing, Silk? Not been eaten by a spider yet? Good. That is my preferred state of being as well. I don't know why, but I got a favorite energy today. It's nice. Never have much energy. It's about 5.30 in the morning for some reason today. Recorded a video, edited a video, posted a video, updated some stuff on the channel, played a bit of Path, did a bunch of chores. I don't know what was happening. My brain was like, you're, you're up now. Especially because I went to sleep early last night, because I was, like, forcing myself to sleep with uh, melatonin. Because I'm like, no, I'm changing, changing my sleep schedule. No no more of this 3 a.m. bullshit for me. I need to actually, like, be up at livable hours, because unfortunately the rest of the capitalist world requires me to be. Has to be if a minion has been killed recently. That's a fucking weird modifier. Okay, let me... Oh wait, you can't even see what I'm doing. I don't think there's any way I can actually properly show you the... Hi, Transfire. Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Quickly price check this jewel. I don't know if it's valuable. Might be worth the chaos. Okay. Well, that's something. Glad to hear it. Always glad to see new people popping up in our community. This is Path of Exile. It's Diablo's competitor, I guess you could say. Ooh, a three dragons. That actually might be really useful. I might swap out my gold room for three dragons. This is Path of Exile, but with a lot... Or, this is Diablo, but with a lot of... Uh, a lot more complexity. Both to its betterment and detriment. Uh, it's well known for be for one of the games with like a massive skill tree. This is the skill tree here.
Yeah, Diablo 3 was... How should I put this? Diablo 3 kind of felt like a bit of a simpler version of uh, Path of Exile. Both in the way that it was a bit more streamlined, and also that it has a bit less featured. This is a much more complicated game, but as the type of per- <laughs> Is that your response to the skill tree? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I like the depth in this game a lot, even more than Diablo 3, because like I put like 800 hours into Diablo 3. But I like the depth in this game, because there's lots of weird shit you can do. A lot of the weird shit that I love is based around the trigger skills, which is the, uh, either... There's a few of them. So, cast when you've taken enough damage, cast when you've been stunned by something, cast when you've killed something in melee, cast when you've crit with a particular skill. Uh, is there... What's... Are there any others? There are things that you can attach to different spells, and you could have things like auto-firing and triggering at random, or one thing triggering another, which can make lots of weird shit happen. Wait. You can get out Eyes of the Great Wolf just, like, at random? Wait, this, this isn't... This is a Blight Well? Huh. I don't... I don't even recognize Blightwell, what? Apparently it's common. Weird. Oh my god, my price checker is freaking out. Please. Please, please work for me, price checker. Okay, no, it's not valuable. I do like the change now, where you're able to identify corrupted things, that's nice. Nope. Nope. No. 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 We're not doing that. Yeah, Path of Exile is not an easy game to get into, but it is a very fun game, in my opinion. Wait, where, where should I go? Eh, I'm gonna get a lot more health over here. I should get more health. Not that I need a whole lot more, because I'm still pretty good. I mean, I'm over 2,000 uh, EHP right now, which is nice. That is a good change. It's pretty good for this stage of the campaign, too. Hmm, damage while bleeding, attack and cast speed, mana regenerate... You are meh valuable. Ah. Uh, uh, how many cobalt jewels do I have? Sure, I have three cobalt jewels. You can, you can buy them for cheap. I don't care. They're probably not going to sell anyways. Yeah, so you can actually play Path of Exile on a controller. Uh, and on console. It is something that does work. Uh, and it does have some interesting features. For example, for some reason they put an auction house on the, P the, co the console version, but not on the PC version. So that's a thing. I want to use three dragons. If I use three dragons, I can shock, but I can't activate Snow Forged anymore. Mm. 
I wonder if the Ignite Chance from Flammability turns into Shock Chance, effectively. That makes sense. Wait, no, I don't need that. I have Skitterbot. Skitterbot Shock. Never mind. Yeah, I, I have heard that you can play decently well still. I, I've i never been someone who likes to play with the controller. It's never felt right to me, whether that's through a lack of practice or just lack of experience or whatever. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to mesh with me very well. So I don't really I can't really speak to how good it is. Yeah, I got the. Our new major god, Slotha, cool. Uh, can I tank my lightning res? Yes, I can easily tank my lightning res. I don't want to tank my fire res, though. This Is this even worth it? Oh, not really. Like, it's almost worth it. Wait, I can tell them this. That's totally fair. I think it's just, like, opposite scenarios. Like, I'm used to it, so it'd be weird not to, and you're not used to it, so it'd be weird too. Is this going to be better? A balance of resistance is a bit better. I already go back there. Sure, let's let's call that good. Oh yeah, this was the one I'll, I was like, yeah, I'll buy this and I'll use it until I'm done and then turn it into a chrome. Right. Now I remember. Okay, Chamber of Sins. Unlock the Sin Hole for me, will you? I need in your Sin Hole, Sin. Uh, this is not the Sin Hole. Hello? I need your sin hole. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, I'm silly! What the heck am I doing? The waypoint points towards the, the hole. I always forget that. Actually, no, I usually remember that. Why did I forget it this time? Wait, point points towards the sin hole. The sin hole points towards the ashen fields. The ashen fields point towards... Whatever the fuck his name is. Then we go and murder him. Uh, Sure. Actually, weird thing is I have a very good ability at switching controllers and games very easily without losing my ability to play effectively. My friends get all mixed up going from like a PlayStation controller to a Switch or an Xbox controller, but I can do it no problem. Fair. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I tend to get messed up just going from like one game's controls to another game's controls while on keyboard. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to split stacks of items in Pal World. I'm like, why isn't this working? And it's like, no, because you're using the fucking method for a path. That's why. Okay. What is... 
Okay, I need to kill zombies mainly for the extra... Wait, no, that just appears their packs to rare. That doesn't actually give me any boosts. Conversely, it might be that if you get a bit of experience with the con with the uh, keyboard, that you suddenly will be able to use it well and be able to switch from like around very easily. You just need to get that initial experience. I've kind of painted myself into a corner here now, haven't I? I have to say, one thing I love about builds that hit a lot very fast is they just shred runic monsters so fast. Because runic monsters tend to be good at just knocking out, uh, like, blocking specific hits, regardless how big the hit is. Which can make slow but heavy hitting builds really... Oh, this last trial. Can make them, like, really impotent when it comes to dealing with... Runic Monsters, which is why I had so many issues with my Hexblast build last league when it came to things like Runic Monsters. Which is why I never did an Expedition. Used to play WoW back in the day? Yeah, me too. Admittedly, that's not a very good uh, point of reference because WoW has existed for a very long time and still continues to exist as, like, an active thing people play. <laughs> granite flask, granite flask, granite flask. Granite flask, granite flask, granite flask. Yay! No, oh, go away. Sure, I'll take that. That's increased amount. I want recovery rate, or and I want. Both hmm. of these suck in the face of enduring, anyways, but. Oh. Apparently this is worth, like, 5c. That's really awesome. Ew, just can't regenerate on it. Wrapped up before Cataclysm, mostly played during Burning Crusade. Yeah, that's a long time ago. I stopped at a little bit after Burning Crusade, personally. A very long time for me, too. So yeah, that sounds like a long time. <laughs> Come here, Piety. Come here. Ooh. What do I want to drop alts? You can have alts. I will give... Do that. Sure. Let's go kill Grethkull. Bears! And by which I do not mean hairy men. Okay. Hmm. Hill north, open west. Hill north, open west, okay. Did I not hit enter? Hill 
the north. Give me a stone of passage, give me a stone of passage, give me a stone of passage, give me a stone of passage. You. Drop a door key. Yes! Open west. I am forever just surprised at how strong pyroclast mines are. I have no regrets about picking them for this league. Like, I, I used to not really... Since I've done them for a league before, I don't really like repeating things, but... Still north, open, northwest, okay. I don't really like repeating things, but... I don't know, it's been long enough. I the last time I did this was Harvest League, which was 12 leagues ago and four score or whatever. So I think it's three years ago. Which is terrifying that Harvest came into the game that long ago. Oh no! No, we're not doing that. Oh shit. This. Might be a bit far away from the top. There we go. Loyalty. I really need to make a curated list of outer tone stuff that I can just listen to, because I, I like most of their stuff and all of their stuff, and I just find myself constantly giving past the exact same songs, like, every stream it feels like. Where'd the boss go? Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Boop. Chance. You would you would have thought that I would. Well, I imagine you would think that I would have been farther along in the campaign, being that. We started last Friday, but I don't know. I've been, I get absorbed by different games lately. I'm not sure why. Path is like, I'm not disliking Path or anything, but I haven't had like this burning desire to rush into things like I often would. Hill South, Open West, okay. Give me a stone, will you? Awesome. Oh, second stone. Gets passageways. So... Passageways? Passageways? Shit. Why did I think for some reason that I was at Treasury? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, that's fine. We cannot know what's going on together. Ooh, 
Quant. Who should I put Quant on? Ooh. Put Quant on the monkeys. Okay. 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 Murder the monkeys! Collect the loot! Destroy them all! Five socket. Okay. Big monkey. Did I get the waypoint or did I wander past the waypoint? Not be surprised if I wandered past the waypoint. Oh shit. I'm out of space. I need you to stop beating my face in. I'm trying to collect things. Not helping. I did not get the waypoint. Okay, I would have been kind of sad if I forgot that. Also, reminder that if you are enjoying the content, please follow the channel. We are only either six or seven people away from me reaching affiliate, which means that I will be able to have subscribers. It's a very big deal. And also you get to see lots of cool content, so it's really to your benefit. Do I want an ice tomb for any reason? Rolled surprisingly well. I got... Two near max rolls. Twenty percent chance to freeze enemies for one second when they hit you. That's new. When did they change ice tomb? It's pretty nice. It's now nice tomb. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 26... 26... Math, 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 math. 33... 38... 44... Yeah, I'll do that, okay. I can sacrifice a tiny bit. It's fine. Just a tiny bit. Okay. How much should I charge for the logbook? I feel like seven is reasonable. Especially... I want to overcharge for it because it does have cannot regen, so... Yeah, the adversary viewers is hard. It really is hard. I think I averaged like 1.3, which isn't amazing. I have heard that one of the ways to deal with that is to do like 30 or 40 minute streams. Just very, very short streams. Pause for a while, come back later, do a very short stream, pause for a while, come back later. I think it works a bit better for games where it's like you're doing matches, like League or Overwatch or whatever. But I have heard that suggestion to me before.
my current scenario, my mind is on f reaching 50 followers first, and then I will worry about reaching the average viewership. I mean, that's not a bad idea. So I will say the trying not to look like a fool is actually counterproductive because people tend to like you for your personality, not necessarily because you're really good at a game or really bad at a game. Like, you have to be, like, in the top percentile to be liked for your, your prowess, basically. And you have to be, like, in the bottom percentile to be liked for how awful you are, basically. So, everyone else been between, you can kind of just fuck around, do whatever you want. Like, I don't, I don't pretend to act like I'm competent with Path. Like, I've learned a lot. I have a lot of experience, but, I mean, I'm not Zizarin or Steel Mage or whatever. People who probably have, like, 10 or 15,000 hours in the game. Oh, another thing is, like, you gotta play the games that you enjoy, not just games that you think you won't embarrass yourself with, for example. Because, like, if people don't think that you're absolutely enjoying yourself with what you're playing, like, if you're playing something that's like, well, this game's a bit more profitable than the other game, so I guess I'll play this one, that tends to do badly. Which is why I played, um... An airport for aliens currently run by dogs last stream because that's what I wanted to play. Almost no one knows an airport for aliens currently run by dogs, but it's very funny. And the VOD went out today. I would highly suggest you check it out if you want, like, a cute game about dogs with, like, the slightest amount of existential horror. Wait, when's the title of the stream? Uh oh, what is, what's the title of the stream? Did I not hit save? Oops. Why do I feel like I didn't hit save? I'm gonna hit save now. Hey, yeah, the title of the stream might have just changed depending on whether I forgot to hit save earlier or not. But this is the title we were supposed to have. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. I'm a professional. What the hell am I doing anyways? I'm going the wrong way. I think. No, no, I, I trust what you're saying. Yeah, I did, uh, on Tuesday, I did an April Fool's Day stream, which I'd been planning for months and months, uh, which was, uh, naming the stream, uh, A Path for Exile, or A Path for Dogs Currently Run by Exiles, um, which is an airport for aliens currently run by dogs, because it's a very funny game. I love it. Where you are the, one of the last two human beings on Earth... Uh, or, like, in the solar system. The rest of the race has basically been eradicated by aliens, but then the aliens got eradicated too, and all that's left is sentient dogs, who all love you very much. 
and you're traveling around airports seeing the different parts of the solar system with what's left of your life because the human race basically ends with you. Which is, like, where the existential terror comes from, of just, like, knowing that humanity dies with your last breath. But you're also surrounded by a ton of cute dogs, and they all love you and have, like, their own stories and feelings. And some of them are just, like, really goofy, but some of them are, like, just so weird. Like, meeting... Uh, I won't. I won't spoil it. But like, one like one of the first things that you need to do when you get to the first airport is you need to get a passport photo, or yeah, passport. And to that, do that, you need to get a passport photo. And to do that, the dog photographer is like, "Hey, I need a bottle of toilet water. Find me a bottle of toilet water, and then I'll take your picture." <laughs> Which actually took me on a bit of a merry jaunt, because. I found out that you that it, the uh, water dispenser that I was using thing will just 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 shoot out water basically infinitely. So I created a uh, or I opened up an auto clicker I had on my computer and just made hundreds, if not thousands, of water on the ground. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh my gosh, I need to make a short out of, um... Oh, uh, what's the dog's name? One of the dogs just, like, randomly gives you a gun. Just, like... And he's like, here, have this. And you're like, why did you give me a gun? He's like, well, I don't know. You can have it. You want another one? <laughs> Like, this is very irresponsible. I will report you to safety, dog. My quick note of dog gun. Where the fuck am I going again? Yeah, getting your your photo taken can be hard sometimes. Especially if you're not, like, confident with your appearance. It's always made me kind of uncomfortable. I mean, the life of being trans. Is this is this the way I'm go like supposed to go? I feel lost. Well, you want to know a secret? I've never done any voice training. I have changed my voice myself just like Kind of like, just basically speaking in different ways and figuring out which one I like more. But I haven't actually done anything uh, specific. And I do find that a lot of the time it's in your head. Because... I mean, the way that, that you hear yourself is also partially affected by the way that you see yourself because of internal bias. So, you aren't necessarily... You aren't necessarily going to be heard by other people the way that you're getting heard by yourself. Like, I used to think my voice was far too masked, and I was always, like, really concerned about it, and I hated hearing anything where it was, like, my voice is backwards. But... As I became a content creator, oh boy, do I have to listen to my voice a lot. <laughs> Whatever I'm fucking editing. Like, sometimes 
just like I spend literally hours just sitting there listening to my own voice because I'm trying to edit clips together. And I don't know, I think I've become kind of numb to it too because of that. No, that's fair. I, I think, to be honest, that hormones has also helped me a lot, because I've been on HRT since April of 2016. Oh, which means that my HRT anniversary, uh, my eight-year anniversary is coming up in uh, two weeks. Right about that. I have no idea who that is, but... I'm sure you sound great. And are definitely making things sound worse in your brain. Rats! You will notice a lot of changes over time. A lot of, a lot of good things are ahead of you. And I don't know what bullshit you've heard from doctors, but... Your, the changes that will happen are not going to be finished in two or three years. Like, I think my doctor said three or four years. No, I'm still getting... <laughs> my boobs are still changing size. Eight years in. It doesn't, it doesn't just stop like that. Your body ends its puberty when it's damn well ready to end its puberty. Also, I don't mind talking about my boobs just purely because, I don't know, I feel proud of them. Not that I want people to be asking about them per se, because that wouldn't be very comfortable, but like, I might volunteer information at times. Oh shit, I'm walking away from the abyss, aren't I? In any case, you have many, many years of changes that are going to be happening that will, if you're anything like me, make you very, very happy. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but no matter how well versed these doctors are in these things... They just, unless they're paying attention specifically to what trans people say, they have no idea what's going on. They don't. Just. Because unfortunately, they can't just share random information so much. Like, they have to be very careful with what they share because of their, their, like, their, uh, what's it called? Um, their diplomas on the line when they're, when they're talking about shit and giving medical advice. Um... And one of the biggest problems is that no one is funding studies for what the effects of HRT are, because that requires there to be a pharma company that sees money to be made off trans people. Or a private investor who just happens to have a lot of money and a lot of goodwill. Which is rare. Oh, I forgot to do the, uh, the Search the Dread ticket. That's fair. It's funny, it's funny to say this, but I'm still, like, one of, I'm one of the older generation now that, uh, I've been going for eight years. I mean, I'm 30, I'm not, like, old or anything. But uh, I'm of the older generation now who's still taking estrace and spinolactone. Also known as E and breast mints. <laughs> I think the other thing with uh, that sort of stuff is they can't not list... Side effects? Uh, 
Also, there might be some trans-negative uh, legislation in place that pushes for negative side effects to be listed. Who knows? Oh, first six socket. Where's the dread thicket? I'm lost. Cat needs rescuing. Cat stuck in tree can't can't find fireflies. Okay, I did did find it though. I just yeah. I definitely heard some, like, you might get high blood pressure and die kind of shit, and it's like, well, I mean, do I want to risk dying? Or do I want to die every day of my life? Hmm. You know, for some reason, this is an easy choice. I don't know why. When you feel like you're already dead unless you have it, it doesn't feel like much of a risk. Cyperterone? Oh yeah, Spiro. Spiro uh, is a diuretic. Yeah, that is an unfortunate and annoying part of it. I should have gone to to town at some point instead of just coming here, because I don't actually have enough space to hold the fireflies and any amount of loot that I get. Let's let's go Wait, this is Groth Call? Who the fuck did I kill earlier? Shit, did I just off some random dude in a forest? No, it's it's the uh grouse. I killed grouse, okay. <laughs> Didn't offer random dude in the forest. Good to know. I agree with all of the above statements. At least for myself. I will not... As a streamer, I am not advising anyone to do anything. Follow the advice of medical people in your area and doctors you trust. Do not listen to anything I have said. Do not take it as gospel. I do not endorse anything. Is this a decent eternal apple? No. No, it is not. It is a bad eternal apple. It is a pathetic apple. Oh, minion damage. And accuracy. Why is that not coming up as an option? Okay, I suppose this is worth like 9c, so I'm gonna put it up for that, but I don't think it's worth that, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, I'm so low. No. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, self-depreciating camera. No, actually, I'm quite happy. No, that's fair. I mean, I've always gotten the feeling that there probably are a lot of trans people who will pop up into my chat. After all, like, people tend to gravitate towards people like them. And I am extremely gay, so if you're even slightly gay, you probably will gravitate towards me to some extent. I mean, it's hard not to. I'm magnetic. <laughs> uh... Bugs, hunting bugs, hunting bugs. You know, it occurs to me that I have no idea how you actually capture, capture these fireflies that you're capturing. Like, we don't... We, we didn't get any equipment for firefly capturing. We just, like, walk up to them and they're just like, Hey, I'm gonna come with you now. A bit strange, but I mean, I guess that's just how games are. Sometimes you just have to do the weird thing, even though it doesn't make sense to make the game move forwards. I don't exactly want to be carrying a firefly net in my inventory, so I imagine that's probably what they were thinking. You can just pick them up? Range. Uh, have more trans experiences. Like, I hate bras, but also I need them desperately. <laughs> Those sorts of experiences. <laughs> I hate this thing, but I can't take it off. I'm more comfortable with it on, except for I'm not. It's like a cage. Except for it helps sometimes. It helps with the owie. Except when there's no owie, and then the bra is the owie. And if you put a bra on two dudes who like each other, it's a yaoi owie. And I can immediately tell that one partic one of my mods is not in chat because they would have responded to that. <laughs> we have no idea when the time will come when you should start wearing them. Hmm. Uh, don't worry. You'll know. You'll know because you won't want to wear not you won't w not want to wear a bra. That's when you'll know you need to wear a bra because it will hurt. Because <laughs> your body's like, hey, your boobs are growing. Hey, your boobs are growing. Oh god, this is gonna hurt a lot if you don't do something about it. <laughs> that that's that's what happens. Can I survive with this little dex? How much dex do I have? 62. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I finally have a new amulet! I've waited so long for a new amulet. I'm immediately going to add life to it. I wish I could add a Marlene's Fallacy, but I'm not, I'm not ready for it yet. I need... <sighs> I need... 
more decks than other things. My rings are shit still. I haven't really... I'm just like, just shit that I've found on the ground. This has a total of 26 or 27 percent resistances on it. Usually I shoot for 90 minimum. Don't worry, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> Uh, so if anyone uh, doesn't understand how boobs work and how boobs grow, uh, if you have if you are have terrified virgin ears, feel free to cover them for the next like thirty seconds. But uh, basically, they build themselves from the ground up, as you would imagine, because that's how you build something. Uh, which means that they form a base, and to do that, they effectively stretch your skin because they're building muscle and fat there. And you know what happens when your skin stretches? It hurts. <laughs> Wait, do I want... No, I don't have... I don't have evasion ready yet. Uh, I don't have... That could add that. There we go. But yeah, when they start to form their foundation, uh, you will know. You will know. They will not let you not know. Oh my god, I'm back in the same damn place for the third time because I need to find Grouse area and it's already there. Oh my gosh, I found it already. What did I do? Oh god, what did I do? Oh, I accidentally activated... Clarity. I hate to say it because it's the last thing that you want to hear, but you're going to have to be patient. It will be here very soon. It just takes a second. I remember the first year being fairly boring. Wait, no. I can use a portal. The, for better or for worse, the body tends to grow very sporadically, so it will kind of decide on a time it wants to do something, and it will do something, and then it will go dormant for a little while, and then it'll do something else, and then it'll do a whole lot of things in a row, and then it'll go dormant for a little while. Oh no. As long as it's not like explicit, you can mention it, but uh I'm scared for you. I don't even know what the worst effect would be. I mean according to the pamphlets, the worst effect is death. Wait, what? Well, I have never heard of that before. That's a new one.
At least, I guess it builds perspective? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't even be able to tell, like, what is my body just being weird and what would... I don't know, though we are, we are on different things, the thing. Since I'm on, still on Spiro, and I've been on Spiro and S-Trace for the majority of my time on this dosage. I have heard better things about uh, progesterone, but... I mean, if you go through the process of changing your your hormones, I mean, as I'm sure you're intimately aware, it fucks with your your brain a lot. And in the more if you have mental health issues, oh boy, does it really suck. Especially if you're already on mental health meds. Like I am. Anxiety goes through the roof. Depression pops up every once in a while. You know. Those sorts of shitty things. I need to... I can't both read and... <laughs> and do this, apparently. They're all independent of each other, so all your body needs for period estrogen. The mood swings, the cramping, every single other thing comes with the period I can get. Oh. I mean, I definitely remember when I was starting out, I got, a, like, I got hit with a bunch of mood swings. Like, I remember one particular moment, like, I was upset, and then I just suddenly was happy, and I'm like, huh. What's going on? And then I wasn't happy anymore. I'm like, hmm, something suspicious is happening. <laughs> I do believe my my hormones fucketh with me. I don't think that's just a trans girl thing. I think it's just a anyone with estrogen thing. Because I know some people have, like, really heavy periods and some people just have nothing. Okay. I hate to say it, but we should probably stop talking about periods before we terrify anyone. Before we terrify anyone anymore. <laughs> hmm, what should I put on this? Uh, I'll put Jeweler's Orbs on the spiders. Put movement speed on the... Spiders, because they can already teleport, so it's not dangerous. Put spirits, okay, and lightning pen on. Lightning pen on the thing that I think is chaos only? I'm just imagining, like, some dude checking out my Path of Exile videos and being like, Oh god, they're talking about the scary girl thing! <laughs> uh, it's a funny mental image to me. Okay, Rog, I will blow some things up for you.
I mean, I don't disagree with you. You always get weirdos, though. <laughs> I almost didn't read the last part of that. <laughs> Oh, you got me there. That was very funny. Darn, I don't have enough. I need two lesser order artifacts to upgrade this. Okay, well, Rog, you're just gonna have to wait on that then. <laughs> oh my gosh. From what I've heard from people about... You know what, no, we're, we're ending this topic. I said we're ending this topic. Moving forwards... I was about to actually just reference what was around me at that moment. I'm like, wait, no, this is... Pr I probably shouldn't reference the creatures I'm fighting, actually. As a lot of people do not like these particular creatures. Well, that was a very scary... Very scary elemental, and he had a lot of Twilight Blades. I wonder what time of day that, that elemental liked. Nope. Fuck. It got fluffed up. Doom. 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 Okay, now let's actually be careful this time. Because whatever that is sucks. Ooh, Vol Arc. I'll take a Vol Arc. Hmm. Okay, now I've got a bunch of ball skills. Oh yeah, I was gonna go do my lab. Totally forgot about that. I guess I'm going to finish this act first, based on what I'm doing right now. Ooh, some six sockets. Nice. Wouldn't leave home without them, Ron. Also, welcome to the stream. I initially didn't have them on this character, and I'm like, wait, where are my toads? Yeah, physical transition takes time. Ah! I can see again, that's good. Uh, 
Uh, all we need is cast on frog. We're good. There is... There might be, like, some... No, there isn't a frog seal effect. I mean, I've been using the, the frog canister. No, 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 no. I've been using the frog canister, so... Frogs! Frogs! <laughs> Zoom! 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 I want to leave the scary place! Zoom! There's actually a uh, build, uh, uh, an a bow build that has, uh, where you fire cats at people. It's like a microtransaction that you can add. Or, sorry, there is a bow skill that you can have that has a microtransaction where all of your projectiles become cats. That's what I'm trying to say. I would love to do that at some point. Then the build might be called Pussy Power. You can... You, my friend, are going to have to wait for me. I don't even remember what skill it is. Just die, Arcali. Thank you. Our album pot. The thing is, I also have to buy the MTX, and I don't really want to do that right now. Fortunately, I need money to buy goods and services. Tushin! Have to see you, old boy. You have money for me, if I remember correctly. Okay, currency items, rarity. All just hits can't be evaded. No, thank you. What do I want to get? Okay, I can take lightning immunity. That's fine. No. I get both. They're just too far away from each other. Like, ever so slightly. I can't get both the remnant and the thing. That sucks. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, that'll work.
spark, particle effects, problems, coinage. You are worth 4C. Nice. I don't have very much money, so that's good. I have like 15 C, because I managed to get a gem to drop this worth tw was worth 20. Okay, Tujan. I would like to purchase some things from you. Uh, how much is Penn's brand going for? Not very much. Hmm. Less duration support. How much is a 10% less duration support when my trade site wants to load? There we go. Supposedly it's worth 10. I don't think I have money left to buy anything else. Oh, I can buy some of these. 13? Okay. Man, Tushin's being really nice to me. He hasn't counter-offered anything. Can I get away with a uh, 18? I got it with an 18. Wow. Well, that cleared me out. All right. Man, Tushin's really nice to me. Not a single counter offer. Just taking all of the stuff I give him at face value. Zoom. Oh, oh, wait, one of those seems important. Yep. Oh, I also have some stuff in my necropolis to uh to show off. I haven't done any necropolis stuff, I've just collected corpses up until this point, so we can actually do some crafting. We should probably do it sooner rather than later, because otherwise I'm going to uh, age out of, or level out of the uh, gear that I can use, because I'll need very specific stuff later on. So, might as well try to make some leveling gear while I can before it becomes too unreasonable to do so. Is a six socket. I don't think a six socket's worth anything. Actually, hold on a second. Let's actually check. No, it's not worth it. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm glad that you came. Even if you just stop in for a moment, it's still good. It helps my stream numbers. <laughs> We stream at uh, 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Just for your reference. I hope you have a great night. Okay, eight percent. That's not good enough for that. Do I need a quartz of ruby floss for anything? Oh. How much is a uh, lustration support? Just one for two C. Put one up for 1C so I can sell it quickly. 
I'd rather just sell it. Also, I really need to get over to Charisma very badly because there's so much mana reservation efficiency and I need that so badly with mines. Hmm. Okay, well, I've done enough at this point that I can definitely go and do my lab. There's no reason not to at this point. Oh, we get Pyromaniac. Yes. 10% life regen a second. And Ignite and Shock Immunity. I mean, that's only going to be 184 life a second, but... I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to scale a lot very quickly. As we get more and more health. We don't really have much health on our gear yet. It will help a lot when we do that. That will scale up a lot in usefulness. I'm both happy and sad that there, there's no lantern in the lab. Like, happy because it would just make things more hectic, and the lab doesn't need to be more hectic or stressful, but kind of sad because, I don't know, I've, I've, I've been enjoying having the lantern of Aramor affecting everything. It makes things interesting. Because, like, sometimes you'll be like, hey, I really want to spend some extra time in this zone so I can kill stuff for whatever extra reward, and other times you're like, I really do not want to be in this zone. Okay, right, turning off automation for a second, so I can stack my mines. Wait, what? I only have enough for... Oh, I thought I had enough space for more mines than that. Oh, I don't. I don't want to have more space for more mines because I do not have much mine mana reservation efficiency yet. That's the problem. Reminder to everyone that if you're enjoying watching the stream, to hit that follow button. It helps me a lot, and you get to see new cool content as it comes out. You can join in streams, and you can be part of the VODs. Ow. I'm poisoned. I've, I've been po poisoned. I have no Myrna. I'm Oom. Okay. I'm good. It just annoys me being out of mana. Oom means out of out of mana, if for people who aren't familiar with what I guess is probably just WoW speak at this point. I don't know if other games use Oom. Nope, wrong way. Wait, this way? Probably this way? Wait, this doesn't look right. What is this? It's nothing. That's what this is. This is nothing. The waste. It's it's probably to the north, and I just haven't gone far enough. I feel like north is normal.
This... Wait, is that a Dark Shrine? That's a Dark Shrine. Yes, give me Dark Shrine. Ah! Explosions! None shall stop you. Okay, that's not bad. It's impenetrable. Which is just armor, evasion, energy shield, which is good. Sorry, sad, sad, as, as, sad, sad, sad. I am busy. Hmm, I can deal with explodes. Not a problem. Okay, follow the right wall. We're in a maze. Always follow the right wall. No, no, out. 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 Door. Door. Door? No, bad door. Better door? Better door! I like this door. This door has my seal of approval. This music is very Far Cry Blood Dragon. Like old school electronica. fan. That reminds me, there was... There was a, uh... Animated series called Blood Dragon that came out somewhat recently that was really good. It looked like a knockoff of a lot of. Not a knockoff, but like it looked like it referenced a lot of video games. So, like, there was references to like Far Cry, there was references to Assassin's Creed and all of that, but it was actually like its own good standalone own piece of media. It was also incredibly gay, which is my favorite thing. I mean, nothing will motivate me more to watch something than being told that it is incredibly gay. It is a bit grim, though. Like, it's got some dystopia stuff going on, so if you don't want dystopia, it's a bad... It's a bad pick. <laughs> okay, that is the right door. I'm just wondering if there's a dark shrine here. No, I don't see one. Get Lee. Okay, no. We're good. Zoom. Oh, that reminds me. Are you still here, Ron? I saw something that I think you would like. Am I going the right way? I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, lots of gems leveling. Infinite power. I need some better mana flasks also. 
Or not mana flasks. I need some better flask flasks. I'm still using level 50 ones. I'm about to hit level 62. I guess I can just skip whatever the fuck the level 60... Divine. I can just, I can just skip the Divine tier and go straight to Eternal. I could just, like, buy one. For just cheap. It's actually one of the ways that I tend to make money early on in the league, is I just sell Eternal Flasks as soon as I hit uh, maps. Just, like, I just put them up for ones... I just transmute them, put them up for 1C. Simple as that. Yay, stuff. Okay, now before I forget, first thing, hit the altar, send C. Okay, and what do we got from the Divine Font? Sacrifice a gem for currency items, that's usually not good. Transform a gem to a random transfigured gem of the same color, that's usually good. Three million experience to a gem. That would level up my power class mines immediately. I don't want them to out-level me, but I don't know if I'm really in danger of that. That would make them stronger. No, I think I'm going to try for a gem of the same color, actually. Uh, added lighting damage. So, what are you worth? Supposedly, you're worth, like, a 10c. But I don't want to transmute that one. What do I have here? I have the normal Pyroclast mine, so I could go for a spell. I'll go for a spell. Okay, so Pyro <laughs> Pyroclast of Sabotage! Well, I could get an alternate version. I could get Arc... Arc of Surging, or I could get Kinetic Bolt of Fragmentation, which is probably not worth it. Probably Arc of Surging, or it's Power Class Mines of Sabotage. I mean, I think the Mines of Sabotage are at least like 3 or 4C, just, just as is. Arc of Surging uh, is worth about 1c, okay. So that's not extremely valuable. Pyro, pyroclast Mine of Sabotage. Are not worth much either. And finally, Connect Bolt of Fragmentation. Okay, I think there's going to be a dud. Yep, yep, this is looking like a dud. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Arc of Surging, and I'm going to try to corrupt to a Ball Arc of Surging. Later. I'm going to level it for now. Hmm. What do I want to level? Arches Fire, Molten Strike, Explosive Trap, maybe. Do I have a chromatic item I could put in my offhand? Not have very many things. So the chance of me having a chromatic item is pretty low, because I would have salvaged it. Hmm. I'm going to put one chrome on it. Okay. Oh, uh, well, blast chain then. Just something to level for money. Okay, and I think I'm done here now, which means that the person who's been waiting on me forever 
and get a thingy. Whatever they wanted, I don't remember. Thank you for waiting for so long. What did you want? Oh, you want a ring, that's what it was. Lonnie, do you have any chromes? No. Bannon, do you have any chromes? Not looking like it. Wait, can you can you do dagger dagger wand? I don't know if you can do dagger wand. I don't know if you can do dagger wand. You cannot do dagger wand. Darn it. Oh well. Yay, I'm stronger. Okay. So, what's the next bet? The next bet, probably... We should go to the Necropolis. Yeah, we should go and make stuff at the Necropolis. That would, that would be a good idea. Because I haven't had a chance to actually do much with the Necropolis, so... Can people join my necropolis? I don't even know. I don't know how all that works. Maybe it's about time that I stop using an elk tab. Get rid of my junk. Okay, one C tab. Nine C tab. Tabs are upgraded now. Propolis. Do this again. Okay. What do I want to make? A lot of quality options. Just a curiosity. What? I can craft a lot of shit. What do I need? I need new gloves very badly. That's what I need. I ideally want an evasion energy shield base. Oh, I can pick the the base specifically. Okay. Wait, no. I yeah, I want to use a different thing. I don't really want to add quality to it. Cuz I can add quality to stuff later on that'll be better. 
I'm gonna want a, a life mod on it. I mean, I could do with some defense mods, that'd be good. I just pile defense mods on it, would that be good, maybe? Resistance. Uh, attribute, maybe? Maybe this is too much stuff to put on one thing, but I don't really know what's good, honestly. Haunted by Hadrius Veruso. What the hell that means? Yeah, minimum sockets. That's nice. Okay, well, I guess... Okay, let's see what this does. Loves... Energy shield evasion. Arnold mitts. Okay. Is that wait, that that is evade okay. Yeah, evasion energy shield. Okay, let's see what this this does. 500% increased chance of life mods, 1700% chance increase of defense mods, 500% chance of, of increased resistance or attribute mods. Plus 50 to modifier tier rating. I don't know what the fuck that means. Lowest 34% of modifier tiers cannot roll. Wait, hold on a second. Does that... If that's the modifier tier thing... Okay, no, we're not listening to this. That's the modifier tier thing. Does that mean I can do that? Lowest 50% of modifier tiers cannot roll. Okay. This is making me want to make a new six link. See if I can make a six link, because that would be really good too. But I do have a six link, and if it fails, I'm not going to use it, so. It's probably better to do it this way. I'd call mods too. Armor, let's do this again. Okay. Energy shield, carnal mints. Okay. I don't 55, explicit modifiers 4. Explicit modifiers four? How can you have four explicit? Oh, explicit, not suffix. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, let's try this. This is gonna be either really good or really shit. Do 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 do. That's not very good. Well, I mean, I got two tier ones, apparently. That's... Good. They're not the right tier ones, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's not... Not bad. Better than this. Hold on a second, can I craft life on that? Because it has a evasion life, which I think means that I can craft a, a pure life. I can. I also craft a pure evasion. Evasion energy shields. Uh, I don't think I need that as much as a pure life would be better. Yeah, that's, that's 60 life now. Yeah, that's actually pretty good now. Okay, that's not bad. It made more or less kind of what I expected it to make, which is cool. It's nice to have something that's kind of kind of deterministic. Kind of. Maybe saying calling that deterministic is too strong, but Okay. Automate. 
detonate mines. Oh, I don't have any red sockets now. My molten shell or my steel skin. Not that I was using my molten shell, but I was using my steel skin. So I do need to make something different with that. There we go. Perfect. That's good, but it's not useful anymore. Okay, that's much better. My cool res is fixed. I kind of broke my lightning res a bit, but that's fine. Yeah. I mean, this is a better set of gloves. Not amazing, but it's better. The only problem with this is, like... If you're going to put that much investment, because I put, like... 10 corpses into that. If you want to put 10 corpses into something, I feel like you should be able to guarantee it's a bit better than that. Like, I did get two tier 1s, but... I don't know. Like, like, considering the investment, it seems lackluster. I'm happy with it, but it seems lackluster. Do I have anything that's, like, no cast time? I don't have any other instant things, I don't think. I think it's just steel skin and detonate mines. I would love another instant skill to pop in with the automation. Instant scale that doesn't cost reservation. So none of that. Berserk doesn't work without having rage. Immortal call conflicts with steel skin. Mine is not instant. Withering Step conflicts with Flame Dash. Blood Rage just doesn't achieve anything. Plague Bear also doesn't achieve anything. I don't want to put Phase Run on it because then I'm it's just going to be eating my Frenzy Charges constantly. I don't want to do that. Just be randomly frost blinking around? Oh, it doesn't sound like a good plan. Maybe a funny plan, but not a good plan. Could just have it randomly turning on righteous fire. You know what? I want to see what it does with righteous fire, actually. I don't think it's going to be good, but I think it will be funny. That's the important thing. Need that. Okay. As soon as I use my life flask, it pops on. <laughs> it pops on righteous fire. <laughs> Wait, can I hold on a second? <laughs> I keep popping on righteous fire because I'm regenerating my health with the mines through Pyromaniac, and then it pops on for, like, a split second. And then turns off when I hit zero. <laughs> oh, that is so useless. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Oh, yeah, Frost Shield has cast time. Wish Frost Shield didn't have a cast time. So I'm gonna take that off so that it stops torturing me.
I guess I don't really have anything else to put on there. Hey, what do, what do I have on automation in the build is my next question. Did I... Wait. Wait a minute, I'm trying to think. Hold on a second. Did I... Oh, okay, no, I know, I know what I did. I went automation, uh, detonate mine, steel skin, increase duration. That's what I did. Just a weird thought. What if I put second wind for it? On these on the automated things. Doesn't seem any different than usual. Oh. Oh. Okay, no, this is actually really cool. Okay, so you can use... Okay, so you can use Second Wind for something with automation. Okay, so automation triggers scales every 0.6 of a second. If you add Second Wind support, it triggers them every 0.79 of a second. So if you want your scales to trigger less often... Or if you want to be able to hit a specific timer, then that would work well. I'm curious. So my steel skin activates. Where is it? My steel skin activates every 3.37 seconds. So. So 1.5, 1 1.8 with 0. 0.6, 2.4. I'm trying to do the math, but it might actually steel skin might actually activate more often with a longer cooldown on automation potentially, depending on how you do it. Which might not make sense, but it it does make sense. Trust me. How about its face run? Problem is that if you use a skill at the wrong time, face run just gets removed immediately. So that's kind of not useful. Put some stuff away. I mean, I'm going to put a face run on automation, and I want to see what it does. I don't know if it's going to be good, but I will see. Whoa, town is so laggy. Not a fan. Oh. Hex spawns a meteor on death. That's great. <laughs> That's not great. That is not great at all. Oh, a Pranda Signet. Pranda Signet? Wait. Okay, I need to. I need. I need to finish the the delirium before I can check out whatever the heck just dropped. Oh my gosh! Everything's coming up. Her, her thingy. Ah, for leveling. Words. Brain can't words. Too many word things. Too many things! Okay. 
Okay. Alive? Mostly? At least I'm alive on the outside. I might be dead inside, but I'm alive on the, alive on the outside. That's the important thing. Oh shit, that's the wrong way. Okay, phase run's working. Nope. Spear Animate Guardian. No, I do not need meteors. Meteors are not helpful. Gosh, I'm gonna need meteor protection now. Um, while I'm bapping. I think this... Oh, yeah, it's this way. Ooh! I'm not really worried about these being unaffected by curses. Actually, wait, I kind of am. I'll make the Undying Grapplers go with that. And I'll make these things that do only physical damage hinder things with spells. No, that's not right. Because I'll put Freeze on the weird... Acid things. That's fine. I've already forgotten what I should be killing. Okay, so the alchemist I need to kill. I saw Prospero. Prospero is good. Abarath. Abarath is not... I don't think. No, Abarath is experience. Prospero is quantity. And then the jeweler's orbs... are just on the... weird... Blob things. Yeah, lots of XP coming from those. I like 200% increased XP, that's nice. Nice little boon. So I didn't want to add anything dangerous to these orbs specifically because these rare orbs right here are really annoying. Thankfully this build's strong, but they can be really annoying with freezing you. I don't really want those to have anything special on them. Sounds like a recipe for trouble. Okay. Nope, that's a bit much. That's a bit... That's a bit busy in there. I don't want to be in there. Oh my gosh. Still more orbs.
I want to pick things up, stop attacking me. I want my loot. Okay, it should spawn over here ish. Up all the ball skills. That is why I like this build. Overpowered as fuck. <laughs> now, it's not overpowered, it's, I've just made the build well. And it also just happens to be decent at this time in the game. A lot of builds are not good when leveling. That depends on when you get your uniques. You get them early or late. Technically, that's a, that's a try res. Be trading some decks. Oh, I I got rid of it. Whatever. Okay, no, that's not a Prentice signet. I was wondering because Prentice signets are expensive. Okay. Oh gosh. No, computer, stop locking up on me. Figure out why that keeps happening. Okay, let's check. How expensive? A perfectly rolled spell damage one is nothing. It makes me a bit weaker, but it does give me a extra bit of punch with my spell damage. Not that I need more punch, but, you know. Can I get town instances that don't lag horrifically? Please and thank you. I mean, I guess that's probably not a thing in this version of the game. I think they're just going to suck no matter what. Hate to say it, but I think they're just going to suck. Oh, yes. Clarissa and her boyfriend on a leash and in a stockade. Kinky. He's also a zombie, so it's a little bit less fun. I already checked the theory. Uh, Danik. I was working with Rog for something. Need two lesser order artifacts. I have no sun ones. Oh, I only have grandson. That's not useful. Oh. Those are nice. But I can't use them. Gwen, do you have anything for me? I don't think so. Yeah, I have barely any stuff for Gwen. Any currency for her, basically. Basically, nothing. Who is leveling in this act, and who does not mind letting me borrow their portals? Oh, they're already fighting the whatever the hell he's called. Wow, the ground isn't even loading 
This is so- this is just so messy. Oh god. My build's pretty decently strong and I don't even understand what's happening to me. Okay, well that was... interesting. Well, I guess that was convenient. Someone's in the bathhouse, good. Okay. And uh, where is everyone? Okay. Well, I guess, Hargan, you can give me that skill tone for a job well done. That I definitely did myself, with no help from anyone else. <laughs> Alright, let's go to a new instance. Bathos! I mean, I don't like running all the way to Yugul anyways, so I'm not too unhappy. Word socket numbers 200 times keeping the greatest number of sockets. That seems really good. Okay, so next thing I need is the trial in here. So there's a trial in here, there's a trial in the High Gardens, and then there's the trial in the Ossuary in Act 10. Significant spirits. I guess I've collected enough corpses. That's convenient. All I did was click on corpses when they popped up. Lever. Oh. Wait. Oh, there's another door. Right. Okay. Bathhouse in Act 8, High Gardens in Act 9, Oscar in Act 10. Okay. Now time to go places from here. Once again, I feel like the mob density has been up here. As long as you can kill the mobs reasonably well, I do not mind increased density. In fact, I prefer it. It makes the game more satisfying. Why can't I use anything? What's going on? I think I'm lagging really badly. Yep. Oh boy, Path of Exile, why? Mon Canada East. Yeah. Yeah, the sixty seven milliseconds, so
Let's see the fire skills pass through the lightning skills at hint and strength. Is this worth anything? Probably not. No. It's unfortunate, but you cannot see my price checker when I'm using it. Back to the bathhouse. Now I got a different, uh, there's a different instance. I guess because I crashed. No, everything's dead here now. What? Was this the instance I was in? Maybe. Hmm. High Gardens. Uh, okay, no, this is not my instance. I seem to have entered someone else's instance. Is that because I was in a party earlier, or just random? Not sure. So I was trying to find the door in that instance. Or in one of the instances. Ah, someone's in the con the Lunaris Temple. That's where I was intending to go anyways. Uh, does this? Yeah, this has a waypoint. So I'm going to go find the waypoint here. Oh, sad pug. Why sad pug? Why pug sad? What's wrong, baby? Uh -uh. I don't know what she's looking for. Ah, that might be her saying, Mom, it's time for an intermission. Okay, that would actually make sense. Wait, no, I don't want the stolen lockpicks. Actually, I don't even want the random contracts either. Okay. Uh, we are going to go on an intermission. As soon as I am not dying. See to the puppers, and then we'll come back. Level even more. We'll level just like I'm leveling these. Assault Ribbons. Also, Assault Ribbon is, like, the least threatening name that I've ever encountered. Uh, yes. Would you like to face my attack paper? Or my pencil of wobbling? How about my feather of throwing? You know what, just for the sake of my sanity. To take those off and I'm gonna go to mana reservation. That will make my life a lot easier. Yes, now I can do clarity too. Awesome. That is very good. Okay, we are going to go on a quick intermission. And we will be back in a few. 
Helps if I don't meet myself in the middle of talking. We're going to quick intermission, they'll be back in a few minutes. BRB. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you all got snacks and water and stress and such. Okay, time to go through Lunar's Temple. I don't know if I will, but I would really like to finish this act by tonight. Like, by the end of the stream, that'd be so amazing. 59, I'm almost 63. Okay, so I don't actually need to fight anything here. I can just go. Wait, no, the carver goes this way. Let's get some class charges back. Wait, oh, it must have been this way. No? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, wait. I'm so confused now. Is this the right way? This is the right way. I'm just confused. Don't mind me. This does not feel like the right way. Follow the carpet, follow the carpet, follow the carpet to the waypoint. There we go. Actually, before I do the whole Lunaris run. Chrome check, chrome check, chrome check. Nope. You know what? The thing is, I really do not need it right now. I'm just going to put away my granite and dust flasks. Dusk? Dusk. Diamond. Diamond Flask. Now I have multiple useful flasks. Okay, which is best? Uh, sure. Okay, zoom. Darn it. Zoom. Zoom. Nope. Zoom. Okay, going up, that's good. Up is always good. Oh, wrong way. This is a dead end. It's like, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay, this has got to be up right here. Right? Yeah. Okay, cards. No cards. No, not that. Door, door, door. door. Nope. Up here, maybe? How do I get over? Oh, I can just teleport.
Zoom. Having a quick button to just drop a portal is really nice. Because the portal scrolls don't have a cast time, unlike the portal skill gem. It actually makes it really convenient to do it quickly. Moon orb! Morb. Act eight shouldn't take too long. It usually doesn't. Anyone in the Solaris Temple? Ah, oh, someone at the concourse. Ah, and someone's at the actually at the temple too. Find the waypoint. Here, I can give you bathhouse. You've already given me one. Man, let me up. Zoom. Oh, Nintendo. Nice. Cool. I'll enkindle that. Making it really long duration. I don't want any of that. Oh, no, I still got it. Maybe I need to... Oh, yeah, I think I need to open a new instance here and then reopen an instance. No, it's still adrenaline. I don't understand how that works. I guess they just want you to interact, like, pick, get the modifiers you get and not reroll them. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Oh, I'm in the wrong area. So much shit. No, leave me alone. I need to zoom. I must zoom. Aerial fields. Hmm. I mean, I do actually want the Imperial Fields waypoint. Not really what where I wanted to go, ultimately, but I mean... Technically, I did want to go here eventually, anyways. Just because I like having all the waypoints. In case I have a friend who needs something or something. There we go. Oh my gosh. So much stuff. Never want to go away. By everyone, I mean all the monsters. I like y'all. Use when charge reads full! Oh, that's really convenient. Okay, cool. Uh, I did not get a waypoint for Solaris Temple yet. Because I somehow managed to skip the waypoint. I don't know how I managed to miss the waypoint, but... Oh, that's a much better Solaris Temple.
This one's a lot less mean. Wait, no, it just put me into this one now. This is the old one. I don't want, th I don't want the enemies to have adrenaline. That's awful. I can't even have adrenaline. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we know which direction is the concourse, and we know which direction is the field, which means that wherever we're going is either a dead end or the right way. Uh, the carpet goes this way, so I think this is right. Nope. This carpet is a dead end. It is a red herring carpet. Red carpeting. Yay! Um... Can I just create a new instance and get a different thing without going in? Is that how that works? No, it isn't. Okay. And amps of 20% quality. If only there was flasks in there. Jeez, that's... Jeez, that's grim. I will shall skip past brain capture. Let me sing a bit nicer. I think it's the right way. Yep, here is the sun orb. I don't really need to bother with a portal. Just die so I can get my orb. Ooh, trap and mines. Nice. That's probably trap and mine damage as well as trap and mine throwing speed. Do I want this as an offhand? Or offhand as an alt weapon? I could have this, so I could have a bunch of slots, but mm, no, I don't need that much blue. Okay, Travel to the Quay. Still haven't done that. I'll skip that, I don't care. Okay, Slayer's Concourse. Where... No, let's restart this. I don't like using other people's instances. Feels weird. Okay, let's go to Act 9 now. Barber Bridge. Okay, nothing fun. Oh! I guess I should be keeping my eye out for special monsters that I can corpsify. Because you can you can tell them because which ones are the ones that can turn to corpses because they have smoke around them. If you can 
actually see what's going on in everything happening here. I can kind of see, somewhat. Through sheer experience. Not, not very well, though. Hey, Sky Shrine. Yeah, no, stay right here, and I'm just going to pile my mines on you. Ow. Oh, I guess there's no point having grace. Actually, no, I think, no, a lot of these are physical attacks. Not physical, uh, whatever they're called. Melee attacks, that's what I was looking for. Okay, Act 9. Okay, I'm about to hit 64, there's a 61 area. I don't actually need to be here too much. Oh. I mean, I keep finding cool stuff, at least. I'll just try to go quickly through here. Quicksilver plus Onslaught's really nice. Okay, thousand foot. You're here, right? No? Okay. Ooh, Julie Strongbox, I'll take that. Oh, I should grab the smuggler's cache. There we go. Okay, do I... Should I keep... My sun resistance? I don't really need it. I'm gonna need Solaris more so because I'm gonna be doing the, uh, lab zone. And Solaris is the Solaris. Uh, its main god power is ideal of all the four god powers for the lab, generally. Unless you have like a particularly weird build. Oh wow, that's really bad. Really not good. Hmm. I don't need any of that stuff right now. I will take the last charge on crit back again, though, so I have lots of last charges. Okay, who's in Act 9? Can I get to the refinery already? I can! Cool, I'll grab the courier waypoint, then I'll do the refinery. Hey. There we go. Not, like, it's not it's really hard to tell where the delirium mirror is. Because, like, it's, it's rotating on a point, and you have to walk through the point. 
And its hitbox isn't that big. Okay. Okay, I was worried for a second that I would have to, like, teleport to a person again. No, that's fine. Yeah, I need to remember that this place is scary. I'm still one level above it, though. Oh, wow. That was a scary... That had two rare mods plus three uh, lantern mods. That sucks. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't know if I'm going to get to three here. It's not looking good for it. Nah. I did get the waypoint. Yep, I did. Okay. Ironically, it'll actually be easier for me to go backwards to the zones than frontwards. I love this build! <laughs> wow, I just tanked the entire thing. Uh... Okay, who was over here? Oh, it's Tushin. Okay, yeah, I should do this. Just have to clear out some of the crap surrounding it. That's a, that's enough of whatever all that was. Okay, there. Pick that up. Pick that up. Uh, penetrate chaos res, sure. I think they got all of them. I don't know if the Penetrate Chaos Res matters if they don't have Chaos damage. I don't know if any of them do. Yes. Yes! Yum, 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 yum. Let's trade with him later. Ooh. A possessed essence monster. Interesting. Nope! Don't want any of that. Okay, refinery time. Wait, how full am I? Not very. Wait, I got... Oh my gosh. The cold damage one actually might be really valuable. Hmm. No. I would have thought... Hmm. The high, they must be high item level, whatever the ideal mods are for this. Because... Not seeing anything for 50 to 67. And then physical is physical. Yeah, let's give let's give the Lightning things shock because they already have it. All about trying to make the modifiers on the monsters incompatible with the monster itself. 
if you can do so easily enough. I guess I have to go this way. Okay, the mob density is definitely higher in here, and in no way is there increased mob density. Or at least none's listed here. Unless there's like a hidden modifier I don't know about. Which is possible. Oh my gosh, a Divine Life Flask, finally. <laughs> Just about ready to not need them anymore. Hmm. Oh, it's over here. I recognize this. Let's curse him so that I can do this quickly so he doesn't shred me with lightning damage. There you go. Carthen powder. Back to the entrance. Eh. Ooh, a flash charge on critical strike. That's actually really good. A covered a minion certainly isn't, but whatever. Trump check. That's my eyes have a very hard time parsing what's going on. In the the vendors specifically, just like trying to see the the sockets is hard. I don't know why. To check. Disorientating display, valuable. Nah. No, but I will list it as three. Sure, why not? Okay, back to the quarry. We can head south. Go back to the tunnel. Uh... I want to see this. Okay, right, we need to go out to the tunnel anyways. We need the... We need the Travis NC in here. Please don't be dead end. Damn it. He shield. Num 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 shield. Arm. Good leather. Crunchy steel. I don't know what's going on. Don't, don't, don't ask. <laughs> one of those, one of those moments. Then... I think the trial's usually before the... Waypoint, and... There isn't really a place after the waypoint anyways for it to be. Oh no, no, this way's wrong.
There we go. This has gotta be it. No? Yes. Let's not run into the any more saws than we have to. Oh. Ow. Thought I was safe for a second. I was wrong. Oh, this way. I shot Ossuary. Hey, Pyro. Good evening. I'm walking backwards through Act 9 to get waypoints. Because <laughs> I... My first waypoint in the act... Ended up being... Uh... The quarry. How are you doing this evening? Uh, for a second, I thought I saw one of the corpse monsters. One of the ones that turns into a corpse that is harvestable. Looking for the dark glow thing on them. Oh, well, apparently there was one there. I didn't even see it, so I don't know. Hard to see. Uh, whispers? Uh, what platform? Twitch has whispers? Uh, sure. I have to figure out how to do it, but I can do it. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I completely forgot that Twitch had a whisper function. Where's Boulder back? Where's my good buddy? I need some beef. There he is. Calendar of Fortune.
Ah, fair. There we go. Yes, failed mods. Gimme. Waypoint, there we are. Oh, I need this. Very hard to tell if, like... Oh, that's a special monster. I was to say, it's very hard to tell when they're special monsters, but occasionally I can really see them, and occasionally I can't. I think it depends on the uh, monster it's on, probably. That would kind of, kind of explain why some of the times it's really hard to see it. Okay. So what monster actually was it that gives me things? Oh, the zombie thingies give you chromatics, and the scorpions are giving me extra rarity. Well, I don't really need to spend too much time here, though. Oh, thank you for the follow, General 696969. I'm surprised I didn't start her through that. Welcome to the channel and the community. Good, how are you? I'm playing Path, so I'm pretty happy. This is usually my happy game. Okay, we have a whole shit ton of things to deliver. Hello, I'm part of Canada Post. I have a blade for you. Mm. Wait, no. I don't want to salvage anything that has... has a... Thingy on it. I mean, that's fair. This game is a very challenging game to get into. It's very, very complicated, and... It's as beginner-friendly as Unix is. Which is a joke that only a very small number of people get. It, it's just, it's not very beginner-friendly. So, it can be pretty hard to get into, but I really like it for its depth, so... Fair enough. Okay, what can we actually get? Double damage is good. Uh, hmm. 
Oh, the Dex Int. Oh, actually, these are all good options. This becomes a quad resist when if I pick this. No, if I pick this. How much do I care? Having more Dex is also good, though. So I would matter more if it was Dex Strength. I'll pick this. Why not? Ooh, 20% damage mod. That's pretty good. I'll go in the one chaos tab. Okay, so do I... Am I actually taking Survivalist? can't remember. Let's check the build. I am taking Survivalist. Cool. That'll give me some more resistances, too. Unlocking things is fun. Gotta love it. Man, I remember when I used to play Guild Wars, there was always some... always something to... collect. What does Converts on Death mean? Okay, well, let's try this. These little dragon rider dudes. Can't even hit it. Oh, they become your friend! Oh! Oh, they convert to your ally! That's really cool. Do they not stay your ally, or...? Confused. Yeah, there's always a balance to find with unlockables. Really are not many of those whatever that is that you can convert on death. I don't see any more. Sixty six. That means I have out leveled the campaign, I think. No, sixty seven is out leveling the campaign, I believe. Cool. I hope you enjoy the stream. Yes, abyss, abyss, abyss. Give me that good a pussy. Ah. Ah. Manor ring, manor ring. Not manor ring. No. No, 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 no. I think it's gone. Man, Abyss rares are rude. Ah, a few more of these things converted to my, my side. How long do they stay? Uh, 
Uh, are they... Wait. One second, I had a... Okay, all the ones that were on my side died, I think. Okay, I think they convert and then die, like, immediately after. <laughs> or, like, they convert for, like, a few seconds. Oh. Yeah, it was Ron. And yeah, you can set Nightbot up to do basically any command you want. It's pretty nice. Now for the slow slog through the sand. Yeah, I think you just have to register for the Nightbot dashboard and then, and like, invite it to your stream. And give it some sort of mod capabilities. It's quite f full featured. Though you're going to want to make sure it's set up to your liking, because I had it blocking messages that I didn't really want to have blocked. And that was a problem for a few streams. Do not go underground. God damn it. It has a, uh, it has invulnerability, uh, phase. Come on. Don't you dare go underground. Okay. <laughs> I'm done with your shit, Arakali. Or that's not even Arakali. That's, uh, that's baby Arakali. Yeah, it can be hard when things go wrong when you're live. Not my favorite, that's for sure. Ooh. Tier 3 max life, tier 2 avoid freeze. A jewel, that's not bad. It's not selling, so it'll go over here. Yeah, I'm lucky that graphic design and streaming overlap so well technology-wise. The stuff I need to do graphic design is also most of the stuff I need to do streaming. That kind of gives me a little advantage there. I can't imagine trying to stream on a laptop. It sounds like a really rough time. Wait, no, not the tunnel. Oh. Well, not to be greedy, but I want this waving essence of greed. Okay, foothills. Ew. That is an awful set of modifiers. No part of this is good. Oh, I don't like any of that. Oh gosh, no, we do not want crit on the, the ice thing. Through that.
That's fair. If you're if you're looking for some like a place to get good copyright free music, I would highly suggest Outer Tones, which is the uh company I go for with uh music cuz it's like chill it's there's some chill stuff, house, future bass, drum and bass, uh dubstep, trap, as well as a few other things. It has like a pretty nice selection. Man, I sound like I'm getting paid by them, but really I'm just grateful that they've that they've posted music for me to use. <laughs> Cuz I've been using their music in literally hundreds of hours of streams now, so I might as well at least give them some sort of plug. They certainly deserve it. I almost stayed sitting in that pile of explosions because I was trying to read chat while playing. <laughs> that almost was very bad. That's nice though, it's always good to be able to find, like, find a, uh, not a niche, but, like, a set of music that you really like, that you can use for streams, because it can be, can be kind of hard sometimes. Find good stuff to use. Also, it can get really eerily quiet if you don't have something, so. That's why I always have music on. Also, nice it kind of gets me in a groove. Like that. Nice. There's, I'm trying to remember, there's, like, something between, like, copyright-free and loyalty-free or something, or royalty-free, that like one is better than the other, but I can't really remember. Okay, I can deliver the powder and open up the mountain butthole. I don't know what to call it. No, I think I like mountain butthole. That's fantastic. We'll check this is uh, this is there's no way this is valuable. Meet sitting at the quarry. Yeah, that's fair. I'm currently adjusting my headphones because they're being annoying, so... I can only imagine what it'd be like if they're annoying all the time. Uh, 
Okay. And this is armor. Let's see what the other option is when we get three. Ah. Okay. I am glad I am so tanky. That is... Saving Grace. Thank you, Ghost Shrouds. You're actually doing your job now. How much? How much? Uh, ah? No. How much uh, evasion rate? Oh, I have nearly... Wow, I have a lot of evasion rating now. Okay, well that explains why my Ghost Shrouds are doing something. But a nickel for every trans cat theme streamer I follow would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's just weird that it happened twice. That, I mean, that's fair. I think there's, like, a thing about trans cat girls. I don't know. We're just really cute, I guess. So, everyone wants to be a trans cat girl. Yes, the forks are protecting me. I mean, who doesn't want to be a cat girl? Like, like, what what went wrong in your life that makes you not want to be a cat girl? I, I, I'm kidding, but, like... It's fair. I mean, after, it, what? Well, okay, I know some people want to be dog boys. You don't need to sign up, you just need to believe it in your heart. It helps if you have a VTuber skin like I do. <laughs> Otherwise, you just have to bleed in your heart. This actually isn't that bad. Dex hmm. into amulet. Eh. Sure. It helps if you own a pair of cat ears, too. And occasionally say nya. What on earth? There's... There's corpses I pick up every once in a while that are, like, haunted by X. And it doesn't explain what it does. No. No. No, not more meteors. I don't need more meteors. Oh, congrats. It's always wonderful to learn something new about yourself. I, I need to remember that I don't actually need to fight shit. Like, I can just run. Really don't need to spend too much time fighting shit, because I have enough XP. I have enough XP to finish the campaign, and I'm not even on the last act yet. Okay, Shav. Let's do this. I didn't realize that Chavron's area is considered part of the uh, uh, rotting core. I thought it was a secondary area. That explains why there's so many things here. Oh no, all of Malagaro's packs are going to spawn meteors. Oh shit, I didn't think about that.
Hunted by X is essentially collect the family, get a unique. So, like, you need multiple Haunted by X things. Oh, what game is he even playing? It wasn't really part of the PS2 era, mu era much, but it was a little bit. I remember playing Goldeneye at a friend's house. Oh my gosh, I remember saying shit because uh, like one one of them killed me, and I got in so much trouble from his mother because she was like, "Don't you cuss in my house," and I'm like. What is wrong with you? Oh, weird people. And weird, archaic values. Yeah, it's fair. If I remember correctly, that's a very janky game. Well, I mean, you still have the option of buying it eventually. I'm sure there's a used store that you could find online that could get it to you somehow. And there's a lot of stores online that deal in PS2 games. I've always wanted to play Shadow of the Colossus. It's always just seems so interesting to me, but I've never really, like... I don't know very much about it, just that it has lots of, like, really cool giant things. Like, giant monsters in it, and, like, I've always had the, um... I like... I like it when you encounter monsters that you are too powerful for you to fight initially, and you have to get stronger and eventually come back to them. That is what I like. All bosses sounds rough. Still. Does sound very appealing to me. I know this isn't the same, but I have watched Call Me Kevin play Simpsons Hit and Run, like, repeatedly for so long. Just every once in a while, my YouTube feature is just like, hey, you want to watch this again? I'm like, you know what? Sure, I want to watch this again. I'll watch this for the 19th time. It's like that old movie that you just keep watching and rewatching. What in damnation, Bannon? What have you done? I thought a hurdy gurdy was an instrument. What? What do? Uh, how much? Hmm. I don't know how much this is. Remember for one chaos.
That's really eclectic, so you go there. Hey, Pyro, are you still around? Yeah, let's go save the idiot. Hurdy Gurdy is a game about hurting. That's strange. And answers none of my questions as well. <laughs> like, like, you explained it in a way that I guess makes sense. It just... I don't know. I think... I don't know. Hi, Bannon. Stop getting yourself into trouble, Bannon. Ooh. Do you have the Rivers Square waypoint? Is that possibly what's going on here? Let's skip the entire fucking bridge. Please and thank you. I mean, that's fair. I will have to look it up at some point, yeah. That's fine. No, let's not. Okay. My brain just went three different directions at once. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check out some gameplay at some point. Does this bridge go across? Does this bridge work? No, no bridge work. Bridge no work. Words no good. Bridge was not bridging hard enough. This is what happens when bridges don't bridge hard enough. Let this be a warning to all other bridges. Bridge harder. Ossuary! Exactly! Why do you know Bridge Bridge? Okay, level 67 area. What level am I? 67, okay. I thought 67 was the... Oh! Special one! I don't know what it was for the longest time. I thought the little bit of the game I knew was a fever dream. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. I can't, like, think of any names right now, but there definitely have been games or, and or movies like that for me where I've been like, did that really exist? Oh my gosh, some of Pingu was like that for me. For those of us old enough to know what Pingu was, for those who are not, I am I am glad for you. It was an existential horror uh TV show for kids. <laughs> okay. Well, someone definitely remembers. Everyone remembers the Newt Newt. I can't do anything that is even remotely close to it. 
don't know what it is about claymation that's uniquely terrifying. Thank you, Pyro. I mean, that does sound like a Looney Tunes game. Do you ever play any of the, um, like, PSP Spongebob games? Or, like, DS Spongebob? No, not DS. Um, Game Boy Advance Spongebob games. Those were very trippy in my brain. It's like, if you like Spongebob, you'll like this platformer, except for you'd only like it if it, you like platformers. It's like, for the overlap of people who like platformers and Spongebob, and are also children, and are also able to complete this game. Lionize pause. Good pause. Uh oh, I'm done in here. Beat Bannon back at the docks. Bannon, would you like a man inside you? Okay. Oh shit, I didn't... <laughs> I... <laughs> I thought I had... <laughs> I need to do the innocence thing first. <laughs> I was hoping... I was hoping to, to make that joke. And then... And then get him to... to uh, turn to innocence. <laughs> Darn it. I am not a platformer person. I do not like platformers. I do not like puzzle games. I don't like platformers. And for some reason, I played Portal 1 and 2 and liked them both. Hold all attributes, max life, and chaos risk. Oh my gosh, it's almost a max rolled tier 1 max life on that. Can I... I'm gonna use that. That's really good. Yep, yeah, fuck... Takanu's timing or whatever. I'm gonna use something different. It just gave me so much more health. Talk to Lonnie for your award. Okay, Davina, can you take... You take my book. Okay, no, you're just giving me more stuff. Please take my book. And my cup. And just hold on to that, please. Oh, there's still a reward I haven't gotten. I need to go back to the different acts and make sure I haven't like skipped any rewards. I probably have missed one or two. I think... I 
think I'm safe for Act 1. Or Part 1. Strength and Dex, perfect. They must have had a fair bit of hope for the franchise if they were willing to invest that much into it. I mean, from a uh, player standpoint, being able to play the follow-up to a game not that long after the first game is pretty nice, so... I imagine that earned them some points. I still didn't do the onk. All this shit to do. You know what? I'm gonna do the lab. I'll also, reminder to everyone to drink water. You need it to live. Nineteen games in nineteen years would be quite the record. That's true. Considering it takes such a long time to make games. Okay, let me press that. It'd be quite the record if they did that and the games were good. I mean, Call of Duty does that, but I don't... I get the sense that it doesn't really get a lot better between versions. A lot different. Not that I'm a fan, so I don't really know much about COD, but still. So. That is very consistent. Wait, is that a special creature? Wait, no, this, I don't think this game can appear in here. Ow. Ow. Nope. This is just a complete and total waste of time. This is a maze to nothing for nothing. Yeah, I have no idea how the mobile game market works. That's that shit's a mystery to me. Because like I understand buying things in a mobile game you play, but I've never like sat down with my phone and been like, hey, I'm gonna buy this game and play it. Like I just can't really imagine it. Wait, what am I doing? I have the key. I can just go through the damn thing. Okay, I should actually have the... Uh, I need to find out why my computer just decides to lock up constantly. Annoying. Okay. Let me bring up... The... Lab... Thingy. Lab... Map. Okay, Merc Lab. The only good mobile game is Magic Carp Jump. I remember Magic Carp Jump. I remember enjoying that. Uh, I was think I was thinking about uh, Path of Exile. They're not Path of Exile. I was thinking about Pokemon Go today because I used to play so much Pokemon Go. 
That was such a fun game. It looks like the lab site is more or less down. Oh, it finally loaded, okay. okay so I need to go to the top right. Oh, almost got chopped. Hmm, maybe not. Let's not do that. Decorative chest. Okay, that's just for a silver key. I don't need that. Is this the way? What about this way? Okay, good. I don't want to go in the fireplace. I very much enjoyed my time with Spyro. It has, like, its own special place in my heart, but I don't think it'll ever be a game that I would go back to, mentally. I think a lot of it was childlike wonder when I didn't understand anything that was going on. <laughs> I don't think I'm likely to go back and play many old games. They're just not really my thing, in general. Like, I tend to... I tend to have, like, a pretty strict, uh... Um, set of preferences when it comes to games. And a lot of the older games just didn't have the technical ability to do some of the things that I like, so it kind of rolls a lot of them out. Not saying they're bad, just saying that they don't really work for me as well as a lot of people. Oh, Eternal Life Flask! Yay! I finally get an Eternal. Okay. That's nice. Cover what lies within. Oh. Well, an additional treasure key's not that bad. Okay, top right again. Nah, I mean, your speech really suggested that you're ambivalent to them. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm just being a smartass. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. We all have games that we just love to death. My, my old game that I love to death is Dungeon Defenders, the original, from 2011, 2012. One of my favorite games of all time. After 12, it's been, it's been like 12 years since it came out, and, you know, they put out an update today <laughs> for the game. Or was it yesterday? I don't know. And I gotta say, that really surprised me. I mean, they started making updates again for it a couple years ago. Despite the fact that it doesn't really earn them any money. I don't really get anything out of it. I guess they could potentially get other people to buy the game. And it is one of their most... Most, uh, storied friend... It is... It is one of their best games as far as... Critics and players are concerned. The rest of their games kind of flopped. I played some of them, and I understand why they flopped. <laughs> Golden Sun. It sounds vaguely familiar. What is that about? Like, like genre and stuff.
Okay, go into focus mode for a second. Okay, good night, General. Hope to see you again in another stream. I stream Tuesday, Thursday at 2 p.m. PST and 5 p.m. EST. So feel free to join. We'd always love to have you. Oh god, I need to. No, I need. I need to actually focus. I thought I was gonna focus, and then I didn't focus, and it's not good because I need to keep focusing. Otherwise, Cesaro is gonna whack a mole me. Okay. Turn based strategy. Turn based RPG. Oh, uh, is it like Fire Emblem style? Okay, I need to go to the top right again. It's always the top right. <laughs> well, not always, but it's most often the top right. Nope. Ow. No. No, I need to stop freaking out and focus. Okay. Everything's fine. Wait, no. Yeah, top right. Okay. Okay. Now, there's a dark shrine in this level, and I want to go to the very top right as well for this. Where's the dark shrine? Because there's four different doors in this level. Okay. Oh, I found the Dark Shrine already. That turned out really well. Heart quickens, blood thickens. Heart quickens, blood thickens. Uh, what is that? Is that? That's the tr that's uh, uh, reduced damage from traps, right? Yeah, reduced damage from traps. Okay, that's good. That will help me from. That's the easiest way for me to die is to fall into a trap. Like I'm less likely to get killed by a monster than I am to just like. I don't know, freak out and and get stabbed by a trap repeatedly and die. The heart quickens. Fear the blood chickens. I mean, I would fear the blood chickens. What is this useless room? This, this courtyard has nothing in it except for arrow traps shooting. This entire corridor has nothing but arrow traps shooting you. That's awful. Mm, nope. Okay, so we need to go a little bit above this somehow. Okay, it's this one then. This should be the last trial, yep. Makes me think bloody chickens, like the, uh, the terrifying chickens from Zelda. Which I never played, but I did play Guild Wars 2, and Guild Wars 2 did also have a, uh, chicken thing like that. I assume as as homage to it. Okay, do not die after his arrow is down. Ooh. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, eternal mana flask. Nice. I need that. Okay. 
first of all, Altar of Ascendancy, Born Shadows, what else? Transformer, non-transfigured skill gem to a random transfigured version, 30 million XP to a gem, skill gem to a random transfigured gem of the same color. I'm almost 68 and a half now, and my my mines are still at 62. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna power up my mines here. I really hope that the extra XP follows over, because otherwise I'm gonna be using only 11 million of this, and I will be sad, because that's not as useful. Okay. Okay, thank gosh, it does carry over. Okay, good. That is that is very good, because that'll help my damage a lot. I've gotten three red beaks, I think, just in this stream. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I have an omen of death dancing. I need to remember that for when I do the fourth lab. Okay, so I still need to do Love is Dead as well as Act 10 everything. Okay, let's go collect Innocence. Let's go collect his Innocence. Oh, Fluff. Um... Zoom... Oh my gosh. Enkindling Orb on a Rot Gut is so good. Feed me more flash charges. There we go. First map. Oh, I need that. Descred Chambers. Hmm. Okay, those do not use physical damage. Okay, onwards.
Zoom. Oh god, that's a lot of things. I can't just ignore that juicy pack. Zoom. I think my animation broke for a second. Looks like my character was not running correctly. Like it like its animation had just it stopped running. Like it was just floating along the ground. Crimson Township as a tier one, that's nice. I could get I can go with that. It's one of these No, no those aren't corpse creatures. I don't know what else to call them besides, like, corpse creatures or corpse monsters. There's monsters that can turn into corpses, even though they all technically turn into corpses when you kill them. Because that's how living beings respond to being killed. Staff of Purity. Okay. Let's try this again. Nope. Wrong camp. Let's try this again. <laughs> the third time. Hello, Bannon. Would you like a man inside you? Mm. Yes? Here you go. And he exploded. Oh. There isn't a jade flask here. That sucks. I guess I'll take quartz with me. Wait, no, I need to sell that, too. Wait, who sells weapons? Oh, what, Waylam. Crumb check. Maybe the last crumb check of the league. We'll see. No, I'll probably be back to town a couple more times before I finish the... Campaign. Hmm. Suspicious music. No. We're not doing that. Uh, oops. Right, I need to identity this again. Oh, it's cool seeing the tier 17s. Ooh. Abomination, Citadel, Fortress, Sanctuary, and Ziggurat. Okay. Ooh, this is really exciting. I feel like Uber Elder is probably Abomination. And Cirrus is probably Citadel. Sanctuary is probably the Shaper. 
Torchless and Ziggurat. I guess Ziggurat would be Uber at Siri. What does that leave? Well, I can't think of anyone. I think Cirrus is Citadel. Uber Elder, Uber Sh Uber Cirrus, Uber Shaper, Uber at Siri. That's what I think it is. Then Fortress is something. Uber Maven? Maybe. I gotta check really quickly. Which of these quests do I actually need to do? I think I need to do all of them. Actually, I might not need to do the map to Sawatha. Path of Exile, skill point quests. Yeah, I can skip map to, map to Sotha. So technically, I do don't need the reliquary. I need control blocks and to fuck up Katava. Oh, Uber Cortex! That actually feels like it fits Fortress. Yay, Jade Flask! Yay! Need that. Zoom. Wait, if I... Oh, I don't have... I put the phasing flask away. I could benefit from that. This is probably the reliquary right here, isn't it? Oh, this is Utula's area. Utula's dead. Zoom! Zoom! I'll we'll get the reliquary something as I'm right here. Zoom. Zoom. Ah, oh, no fun ones. That's every waypoint act ten now. Shouldn't be that far away. Usually he's pretty soon in. Right here? Yes. 
Hey, Valencia. Goodbye, Valencia. I'm being bombed. Help. Boop. I think this is probably the highest health I've ever had, or highest EHP I've ever had, enter or like at the end of the campaign. I have over three thousand EHP. Bye, Valencia. Hmm. Ends of endurance don't seem very good. Yay, lots of spell suppression. I'm getting so tanky. The last two ascendancies have been defensive. And everything I'm taking right now is defensive. Really, you don't need to add that much offensive damage to a mine build. I don't really feel like it, at least. Panels. Canal the hell of this place. No, I do not want Katava's Heralds to have 5% life regen. Thank you very much. That's awful. Right way? Right way. Doom. Noom. Noom. Give me frenzy charges so I can eat them for extra power. Okay, I have, like, 90% spell suppression now. And 53% prevention. Oh! Corpse man! I really like that they've added the ability to remove... All tiers below a certain level via the uh, Necropolis when uh, crafting. That is very nice. Ooh. Who do I want to drop a chrome? You can drop a chrome. You can drop chromes, and you can drop chromes, and you can drop chromes.
Zoom. Zoom to Katava. Oh. There is a... a small fortification here. <laughs> uh, it's... it's tiny here, with a tiny fortification, that's funny. I love that. Zoom. I said I wanted to finish the campaign by the end of the stream. Looks like I'm on track for that. Man, Katava grabs Sin and Innocence like Sylvester the cat grabs Tweety Bird in Looney Tunes. Just like so unceremonious. But like, these are gods. This seems silly. Oh yes, I'm just gonna pick up the very embodiment of Sin in the world. And the father of gods. Nope. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, Katava, you're weak. Yeah. Namu sign, nice. I know you're dying, Katava, but let me sort my inventory first. Yay! Campaign complete. Whew. I chrome checked you since I leveled. Oh no. Thank you, and now... Out to character select and back in to teleport to the waypoint. Because I don't like walking. Which maps do I have? Shipyards tier 1, that feels weird. I'm missing Bone Crypt. Okay, take a Bone Crypt then. Thank you.
Okay, what am I... How am I doing right now? I am at... 31.80.54. Yeah, that makes sense. Not amazing, but... Acceptable. Wait, there's an entire wheel of blind effect right beside me. Maybe I should take blind effect, actually. I didn't even consider that, because I blind anything near me and anything I hit. <laughs> that would increase my evasion rating, effectively. Okay. Hold on. Nope, not that. That is the wrong application. Transitioning. Okay, path of building. Two, three. That's a that's six percent more evade chance, bringing me from seventy nine to eighty five percent. With the blind with the blind effect. It also decreases their evasion rating. I can either pick 2% more of it on top of that, or I could pick 178,000 DPS to add to it. Ooh. I want that now. Hmm. This is currently giving me 12% of my element resistances. Hi, Han. Went for duration. I'm gonna say we could go for duration to avoid having to. If we just cut out this section, this only cuts out two percent evade, but it'll give me way more than that to pick this. Yeah, that brings me to eighty-one. Oh, I have a mana reservation node that I should have taken. Oh. Oh. Well, that's probably why I'm suffering. Uh, no, just, just glancing at it right now. We, uh, I just completed the campaign. I managed to complete... Act 7, Act 8, Act 9, and Act 10. This stream. I also do two labs. It's pretty good for four and three quarter hours. Mm -hmm. Technically, if I take out the 147,000 from here... Actually, wait, I'm not even using the Triggered Minds thing right now, because I'm, I'm using Automate. Automation. Technically, I'm doing that already. Okay, I'm at 4.431. I swap the crit mastery over to here. 4.454. Okay, so that's actually a little bit better, plus it gives me 
a lot more evasion chance, bringing me up to 83%, so an extra 4%, and taking my spell suppression down 15%, but that's fine, that's not a big deal. Also means that I have a very easy, like, 91 and 92 to, to pick up uh, extra evasion if I want it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not using that yet. Hmm. Stun avoidance over there. I don't know if I need those nodes, though. Mm -mm. I like the life nodes. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm happy with uh, that change, at least. That will help me a lot. Though, if I understand correctly, blind reduces your evasion rating and your accuracy rating. So if you don't use evasion and you're a spell build, theoretically blind has no effect on you? Is that, is that what I'm reading? That sure seems like what I'm reading. Okay. Not that I don't believe you, but I am going to just double check the wiki to see if there's any, like, minutia to concern myself with. Oh, it lowers your light radius to minimum value. Okay, so it does have an effect on players, but not on non evasion spellcasting monsters. That actually does make sense. Oh, no, hold on. No, it reduces their crit chance as well. So blind reduces your accuracy, your evasion rating, your crit chance, and your light radius. That is a bit, that actually is like a decent layer against uh, spellcasters still, too. Unless you're a spellcaster that doesn't have any crit, but usually, I would assume that spellcaster monsters have at least a tiny bit of crit, so it still would help somewhat. <laughs> Welcome back, General. Okay, whatever. Thinks I have 36% chance to evade, but that's not true. I have like, okay, so I have like 70% chance to blind now. That's really nice. Oh boy. Did I do everything? Everything except for Love is Dead, I think. Passives. Zero, wait, zero from the Gemling Legion? 
Oh, I missed... Oh, okay. So I need to do the Gemling Legion and Love is Dead. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We started at level 56, I think, and we're now level 69. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> this this has been kind of a... Uh, whew. This has been kind of like a marathon. We're about to hit the five-hour mark on the stream. And you know what? I think I'm done for the night. <laughs> I think... I think I've had enough Path of Exile for the night. Also, I'm starting to feel like a little bit scratch in my throat, so that means that it's starting to reach, like, wear and tear time. Okay. So, thank you to our new followers today, General and uh, Transfer Hire. Thank you both so much for following. I appreciate you very much. To everyone who's here and has been here, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you liked the content, please follow the, the Twitch channel so you can join in more streams. It's always a blast to have more people. And the VOD will be going up in the next couple days on at Black Cat Streams, and highlights will be going up on at Black Cat Studio, as well as five, five videos a week. Just general ones. Today we had a video recapping the fact that I forgot to tell anyone that I made a VOD channel. That's fun. That was, that's, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Anyways, thank you all so much. And I guess I will e either see you next Tuesday at uh, 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST, or I will stream at some other random point before that point. I don't know. We'll see. That's going to be a very busy day for me to begin with, so we'll see how that Tuesday goes. Night, everyone. Nyaw. Good nyaw. <laughs>